Hello, it is wine time on the patio, and tonight I'm going to be uh, enjoying a red wine called Apothic Crush. So not too long ago, I did another Apothic wine. I did the Apothic White. These are California. They're from Modesto, California, so these are California wines. Um, so you can purchase these at any of the local stores here uh, that sell wine. These are very popular and easy to come by and not really expensive, um, but they're nice. There's a whole series of Apothic wines. So I don't do a lot of red wines, so I wanted to get back and, and uh, try something local that you can pick up um, at the store and something that is a red wine. Um, because a lot of my wines I've been doing recently are locally grown uh, from local wineries. So this is just one from California that's easy to find. Now, a lot of times um, these are young red wines, so they're going to be dark, darkish red. Crush is a blend. I'm not sure what all it is a blend of. Um, but it's not a super dry wine, so it's a, it's going to be more to my liking. I don't usually go for super dry reds. I mean, I do drink them some, but they're not my favorite. Um, this is meant to be served at room temperature. So I did stick it in the wine chiller for just a little bit because room temperature is meant to be about 65 degrees. And I don't know what your house is like, but my house is not 65 degrees room temperature. So I chill them just a tad just to, take, um, to get it down to what would be considered room temperature by wine standards. Now, normally when I'm going to drink this kind of a wine, then I'm going to let it breathe. Now, again, that's another wine term, but red wines, especially young red wines, um, which means this hasn't aged, there are, and you can tell by usually often the color. So when you look at the wine and it's a darker red, that usually means that it is a, a fairly young wine. Um, so usually we would decant this wine, which means we're going to put it in one of something like this. Okay, so this is a wine decanter. You can pour it in here and let it breathe for a couple of hours, just let it get some air. Uh, it will take away the harshness of the red wine. So sometimes if you if you find that you don't like red wines, you may find that you just, if you would decant the wine for a couple of hours, um, it, you would be happier with the flavor. Um, but I didn't decant this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an aerator. So this is just a little item that you can purchase at the store. You stick it in your wine bottle and this is how it, it will put air into your wine as you're pouring. So I'm going to do a little pour here. So you'll see it's, it's going to pour a little slower and it's, it's just letting the wine get some air to it. So it comes out a little slower. Now this is a red wine glass so you'll notice I drink a lot of white wine um, but this is a red wine glass because that's the best thing to drink uh, red wine from, of course. That's why they have different ones. Um, and this, so it's it's a, got a wider bowl than your white wine glasses, and it does curve up a little bit, but it still has a fairly open uh, mouth. Okay, and this is all about getting the the fragrances and the flavors and getting the air. So I'm going to do a swirl and a, get the nose. So definitely this is uh, a red wine it's definitely got a little bit of dryness but I can tell it's very fruity smelling which I like um, so anyway if this is a, again a wine that you can purchase at the local stores here it's a uh, popular um, and uh, the apothic series there's re different reds and whites available uh, from this this is at the apothic crush so wine time on the patio tonight I'm going to be enjoying my uh, Apothic Crush. And just remember, if you try a wine and you're not happy with it, um, you can always do try different things. Um, try chilling it just a little bit. If you didn't like it at your room temperature, um, you can try decanting it if you think it's a little too harsh. Sometimes with a red, that would be helpful. And these little aerators are not very expensive. You can buy one of these to put into your wine bottle in a pinch, and that will make your wine um, just a little more smooth as you go to drink it. It's this wine time on the patio. Cheers.